all of my YouTubers out there, all my natural hair sisters, relax and transitioning. Um, thank you for stopping by my channel. I am in my my sister's keeper. Um, today I am making it's a deep conditioning pre poo treatment that I use. Um, I usually do this. I try to do it once a week, and because my hair is very thick and very curly, it's like a three C, and this is just nothing in it all week. Um, except the shea butter that I put in earlier this week. So it's a very thick, dense texture. Um, but I love it. I'm learning to work with it. It's been two years. I did a, a big chop. If you watch my, um, my hair video, you'll see that I had like this much hair. And I just went and did the whole big chop and starting all over again, starting fresh and new. And I'm thankful. I thank God that um, I had the opportunity to actually grow healthy hair. Like a lot of my sisters out there who do have that opportunity. And I'm so glad that um, you're choosing to do so. And, you know, healthy hair is just the beginning. Healthy life. Um and leaving a healthy legacy for your children is really the most important thing of, of it all. Okay, so why am I looking down? Because I am making a deep conditioning treatment. Um, I use it as a pre-poo. Try to do it every week. I love avocado. Let me tell you, I love avocados. I don't know if you see my last video when I had the twist set. Um, when I did my own little twist out. Sorry about that. My allergies are killing me today. But I love avocados, okay? Avocados have an essential fatty acid in them that penetrates the hair shaft um, as a conditioner. And it basically it wraps the nutrition around your coils and around your curls. A lot of conditioners that have a high slippage they just penetrate the outer shell. Avocados actually have the ability to um, penetrate the inner shaft of your hair, um, such like a relaxer would penetrate the inner shaft of your hair to change the pattern. Well, the avocados don't change the pattern; they just nutrition. They just give nutrition to the pattern. So I'm really excited about avocados. I love them, love them, love them. Um, my hair now. It's time for a co wash. Um, it's still shiny. It's still soft. I still have a lot of definite curls, but I hydrate my hair often because it does tend to get dry if I don't. My hair is, um, I think it's like a 3C. This is it dry. Nothing's in it. I haven't really done anything to it since earlier this week. But. Now it's time, so I'm going to show you what I put in my avocado mix. Of course, avocados. I actually have to use two avocados. Most people just have to use one. But like I said before, it's, this is a dense, thick forest. So if you have really, really thick hair, don't try to use the avocados sparingly. Try to coat every single strand. So if you got to use two avocados, use two. I make sure my avocados are very, very ripe. Let me show you. Woo. So, I use the avocados. I also use coconut oil. Um, I love coconut oil. It makes the hair very, very soft. So, I buy this from the grocery store. I live, um, I have a Caribbean market not too far from where I live. So, it's really inexpensive there. And I also use grapeseed oil. It's really, really good. Um, it's full of antioxidants and it, it's a good hair penetrator as well. Um, it supports the nutrition of the hair. 
and I also use sweet almond oil it has a very sweet smell to it um, all my oils are very they're not uncut I mean they're not cut so they're uncut and they're very very potent um, sweet almond oil has a it melts right in just like a shea butter but it's very very light and it's also a good coating conditioning oil jojoba is a staple I use jojoba jojoba is like the next it's they say that it's like a replica of the um, sebum that we naturally secrete from um, our scalp but of course if my natural sebum is probably going to take me to about that much hair and the rest of my hair is just going to be dry so when I put the jojoba in it's acting as it's actually penetrating down the hair shaft this is why our highly textured curly coily um, thick hair gets so dry and compared to um, a straighter Caucasian hair because their hair, the sebum can actually travel down the hair shaft with their hair. Ours, it probably gets about right there and everything else just becomes dry if you don't moisturize your hair. I have avocado oil as a base but I don't use it in my um, tree poo deep conditioning of course because I use avocados. So I save my avocado oil for hot oil treatments. I'm also going to put in I don't know if you can see that. This is rosemary and essential oil. It's very, very potent. Um, you don't want to use a lot of this. It will eat through plastic. So it's very, very strong. I'm going to put a couple of drops in because rosemary is good at promoting hair growth. And it has a very, excuse me, it has a very strong herbal smell to it. So you might want to smell it before you use it. It doesn't bother me. I kind of like the herbal smell. So, and I'm also going to use a couple of drops of tea tree. Tea tree is good um, antibacterial. It's also good for your hair. If you have scalp problems, I recommend you use the tea tree. And I'm going to stop this video right here because it's already been eight minutes. So I'm going to blend this and I will put up the second video. Okay? So stay tuned because you got to see how I apply this. Application is the key when you're doing a um, deep conditioning pre food treatment with avocado okay thank you and um stay tuned